Hey guys, Brian Colorado Camper Man here. So in this video, I'm gonna go over 25 accessories that we have added to our camping setup to really increase our camping experience. <laughs> so I think these videos are kind of cool because a lot of YouTubers do them and everybody has their own little spin on it. And there's different things that you'll notice, you know, based on what type of camping and the type of person, you know, the YouTuber is. Uh, everybody will have different stuff. So this is gonna be my spin or our family's spin on RV accessories and things that we have found over the years to really help out. So I'm gonna put Amazon links to where you can find a lot of these products online. I'll also put a link right now to a video I did of the top 20 must have items if you're a RV newbie. And then I'll put a link right now to a video I did years ago of the 15 must have items while dispersed camping. So my list is not gonna be in order of priority. I'm just gonna go over 25 items starting on the outside of the camper and then working our way inside. So let's go ahead and get to the list. The first one I wanted to show you guys, cause this is probably our favorite, is this little outdoor wash station. This thing is so awesome. All it is is an extra, you know, it's an old laundry detergent can and we just fill it up with water. We bring two of them with us and we just have this little table, a thing of soap, and we have another laundry detergent holder which catches our water. We use this water, help put out our fire. Our camper's a little bit older, it's a 2010. I don't think back then they had the outdoor kitchens and stuff like that. <laughs> so this thing works out great. And we love this. If you have kids, you definitely got to do something like this because it helps out big time. Sticking with our water theme, second on the list is extra water jugs. If you're going to be going out doing dispersed camping or boondocking, you got to pick a couple of these up for sure. This is uh, six gallons. We bring two of these with us. We did not use them on this trip, but when we do disperse camping for a longer time or we're taking lots of showers or doing lots of dishes, uh, we definitely use these. Third on our list is the camping chair with table. We used to have those other accordion style, I guess you would call them, <laughs> chairs. And those things, you're always kind of slouched down and they are comfortable. At nighttime, I'd fall asleep in them a lot, but these, we love these. Uh, it's a little dirty, kind of gross looking. These are awesome because they have the little table. So let's say, you know, you cook up dinner or whatnot. You can have your plate here, you can have your drink here. And these are awesome. Um, since they fold down real nice and easy too, boom, like that. I mean, set up, tear down is super easy. If I were to get a new one though, I would definitely get one with a back because sometimes they, your back can get cold like in the, you know, at nighttime when you're around the fire and stuff like that. So I'd get one that has a full back. But other than that, these chairs with the little table are awesome. The fourth thing is your outdoor carpet. And uh, that includes one of these little guys too. So I used to kind of poke and make fun at people that used to have these. And I gotta tell you, we love this little carpet. Um, it really cuts down on the dust and the dirt and all that stuff that gets brought into the camper. It's also super nice if you are going to a place that is real dusty or dirty just to lay this down. We come out here with our socks on and it is just so nice to have one of these. And it really makes your little outdoor living space. I think it kind of takes it up a notch. So the fifth thing is an outdoor table. I cannot tell you how key this thing is. We have forgotten this on trips and never again. <laughs> We just basically keep this uh, in our truck uh, in the summertime because this we love camping with this thing. With this, we put our water jug on there. We cook out here. Last night, we use it as our dining table outside. This thing is so key. You got to have an outdoor table. They are just so worth it. The sixth thing is our outdoor drinking water. Um, this little jug, we love this thing. I believe it's six gallons. I have had to replace the spout once, but uh, this thing is awesome. This is probably eight years old, and this is all we ever use for drinking water. We sanitize and clean our fresh water tank inside the camper, but we do like having just a separate drinking container. The seventh thing is our Coleman outdoor stove. We just bought this last year, and I cannot believe that we waited so long to buy one of these. We use this thing all of the time. Uh, it 
keeps us outdoors a lot more. We cook out on our table. We'll cook breakfast, make lunch, dinner. We'll cook our coffee, or you know, we'll heat up our water for our coffee on this. We absolutely love this thing. The eighth thing is little solar lights. Now we were camping with my in-laws here and they accidentally packed up our solar lights because uh, we just kind of make a nice path but I'll, I'll show some videos of our little solar lights but we love having those things it's so cool to be able to set them up on your campsite and then they turn on and they illuminate uh, the area and it's really cool too if you're camping with people and you have like little pathways that go between your campsite and their campsite and again just kind of adds to the um, aesthetics of your campsite at nighttime. So the ninth thing is our drill attachment uh, and socket. So you can actually get a one piece unit on Amazon, which uh, I think they're like five bucks or something. But this is so that you can raise and lower your jacks without having to hand crank them. So it just makes your setup and tear down that much quicker, which is really nice because when you're setting up and tearing down, there's a lot of things to do and this just kind of speeds up the process. So the 11th thing that you need to have is this reducer from a 30 amp to a 20 amp. So you need to have this. You can also have one that's a little bit larger or that has a surge protector as well. If we camped with hookups more often, we'd probably get a surge protector, but we don't. But we definitely use this when we're at home. We'll plug our camper in here, then we'll run a larger extension cord uh, out to our house and then we're able to plug in at home. So the 11th thing is a glue gun. So this really comes in handy because sometimes things will break on your trips and you just need a quick fix to be able to get home or sometimes this will work as more of a permanent fix. And um, it, you can even heat this up if you just have a little power inverter. You don't actually have to be plugged in, but this is definitely something that has saved our butt several times. So the 12th thing is JB Weld and duct tape, Gorilla Tape, whatever. But man, having a combo of this stuff, I guess it's not really an accessory, but it's kind of a must have. This stuff will save you. Uh, if you've owned a camper for any period of time, you know things tend to break and they break at the most inconvenient times. We use this to fix our bottom awning bracket on this trip. Because of this, we're gonna be able to drive home safely because uh, our awning bracket did break and it was basically just dangling. So awesome stuff. Definitely got to have your Gorilla duct tape, all that. The 13th thing is a tarp. Uh, we've used this for so many things that, you know, you just got to have a tarp. <laughs> Whether it's to cover your generator. Or yesterday we had this at the base of our little pool set up out here, which was very fun. I'll put a link to our trip video. But, I mean, you got to have a tarp just to be able to cover your gear and all that stuff. Uh, in case it rains. 14th thing is these locks. I'll put a link to a video. Uh, um, another video I did about a security tip, but man, if you have the old CH, I think they're 751 locks, you gotta switch them out. We like these uh, cam locks, uh, cylinder style locks, but I ordered these with these little dust covers and these things have been great. 15 is an alternate energy source. So we technically have three energy sources on this camper. We have our battery, we have our solar panel, and we have our generator. This solar panel used to be 100 watts, but I kind of ran over <laughs> half of it. I'll put a link to that video. But uh, so this is just a 50 watt panel, but this basically just keeps our battery charged. And as long as we don't want to run our AC or our microwave, we can just have this little 50 water and we'll, our battery will not die on a camping trip. But we also do have a very beefy battery. We have a 200 amp hour uh, Renogy gel battery. That thing's awesome. I'll put a link to a video I did on that. The generator, really we only use that if we're running the microwave or the air conditioner. Um, it was close to 90 yesterday and our son goes to sleep pretty early because he's still kind of little. So. We do use the generator to run the AC just because otherwise the kid would be frying in there. Number 16, this Valterra clear dump. What is this? What would you even call this thing? Connector. So you put this on your connection right here. The reason why you want this 
is because then you can see when your black tank is clean. It does also have the spray poured on it. We don't use this because we have a black tank flush, but this really is a nice accessory to have. It's kind of gross because you can see everything, but without this, you won't know if your tanks are clean or not. So this is definitely something that you want to pick up. Number 17 is these Ball X Chucks. Oh my gosh, game changer. I cannot describe how awesome these things are. I did a separate video on these, but basically these wedge between your tandem axles and they take all that side to side movement out of your camper. So again, I'll put a link to a video I did specifically on these, but these things, like I said, game changer, definitely recommend these. Number 18 is these Camco vent covers. It's kind of hard to see here, but I'll, I did a separate video on how to install these things. These are the covers that go over your vent here and they are so awesome. Again, a game changer because you can open up your vents when it's raining as you're driving the, down the road, you can have them open so you can get a nice breeze. You gotta put these on your camper if you have not installed them yet. So number 19 is one of these little indoor outdoor temperature gauges. So it's 84 inside, 81 outside. I do have everything closed up, there's no breeze. It's kind of hot in here. <laughs> but uh, this has a mid max, so it was 55 last night. Uh, outside 63 in here. It's just something that's kind of cool and uh, we like having and um, You could again get some that are a lot fancier than this one. This one's just super basic Number 20 is a 12 volt power converter. So most campers do have a 12 volt socket plug-in like ours and then uh, th This does it turns DC power into AC so we can do 450 peak on this one, 225. So with this, we can charge our you know, GoPro batteries, cell phones, we can run small fans. I mean, we use this on every camping trip. Um, if you do have this, honestly, uh, as long as you have solar or some way of recharging your battery, in my opinion, you don't really need a generator. We went years without buying a generator because we just use this little power inverter. And we use our solar panels to recharge our battery. Unless we need to run our air conditioner or microwave, this little guy with our solar panel will take care of all of our energy needs while we're camping. Number 21 is hooks. We have hooks for keychains. We have hooks for towels. We have hooks for hats. We have hooks for <laughs> shirts and pants and uh, laundry hamper, you know, we have hooks everywhere. So if uh, you haven't figured out the hook thing, you gotta hook yourself up. Keeping with the hooks, we do have this, uh, number 22 is this door hook. This is where we hang our towels. Definitely a nice addition. Number 23 is these dollar store tubs. These things are awesome because we put our clothes in here. So when we're getting ready for a camping trip, we'll take them out, we'll load them up, we'll put them in here, you know, and they're just awesome. So we have them up here. We also have them above here just to keep maps and paper and gloves and games and, you know, everything. So these are a great addition and a cheap addition as well. So number 24 and number 25 are right here together. So our awesome coffee dripper. This thing is so amazing. We always used to use our um, normal coffee pot and we'd have to use a generator and all that stuff. This, all you have to do is heat up water and get a filter. And I did a review just on this thing, it's sweet. And then this is our drying mat. So after we wash our dishes, we just put all of our, our dishes on here and you can wash this and it works great. All right, guys. Well, that does it for our 25 RV or camper accessories. So what are your guys' camper accessories? What are things that you've added to your camper that has increased your camping experience? So put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. Like I said, it's, it's kind of cool to see what things people have added to their camper because um, everybody has different ideas. And again, it kind of depends on personality style and what type of camping you do. But uh, if you guys enjoyed it, throw a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, like I said, I'll put links to some of the other videos uh, that I have out there. But yeah, throw a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.